In this video, we're swapping out the suspension on a Tesla with DMA Industries Sense and Brand Shocks and Speedy Struts. We'll show you our DIYers a step-by-step -step process and how our OE products will help improve the quality of your ride and the performance of your vehicle. We'll show the comparison with this data later on in the video. Here is a list of the tools needed and torque specifications for these parts. Go ahead and pause the video here for a closer look. We want to give a shout out and thanks to our friends at Avril Automotive and Napa Auto Care Center on Executive Avenue in Myrtle Beach. These guys are professionals who take quality and customer service seriously and follow a strict code of ethics so their customers know exactly what to expect. Our friend Rick will be our service technician for this installation today. As a measure of consistency, we've checked the measurement of the current stance which is at 16 and a quarter inches from the center of the wheel to the bottom of the quarter panel. The first step is to remove the tub from the front of the car while being careful that you don't crack or break any of the plastic parts while removing them. With the tub removed, this will give you access to the upper bolts that hold the struts in place. Now go ahead and remove the wheels and have easy access to the front suspension assembly. It is typically a good idea to replace these components after 80 to 120,000 miles and when you hear creaking noises and experience excessive bouncing in your suspension. Be sure to loosen the brake lines and any wiring from the assembly and push them out of the way. Then loosen the bottom bolt from the strut. using a 13 millimeter socket to remove the nuts from the mounting bolts on top. We found that this particular model has small holes for the socket to fit through, so Rick uses a grinder to grind down the socket just enough to fit in the holes, and then he was able to loosen those nuts from the bolts. It's also handy to loosen the top mounting plate to wiggle it around with a screwdriver to line up the bolts with the holes. Here is a shot of the side-by-side -side comparison of the old strut with the new one. Now install the new struts in the same fashion as the old ones that were removed.
Next, be sure to replace the old sway bar links with the new ones. This is a good time to go ahead and replace those sway bars while they're worn, and it is easier to get to them while doing this type of work. Now reassemble the entire front suspension. Moving on to the rear suspension, remove the wheels and the lower shock bolts. Using a jack, place pressure on the lower control arm to aid in the removal of the lower shock bolt. The car could then be raised to loosen the upper shock mounts. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Notice the similarities with the old and the new shock. With the shock now in place and the upper mounts tightened, also tighten the lower shock bolt. Now replace the sway bar links with the new ones. Replace all wheels and tighten each lug nut to the specified torque recommendation. Finally, carefully reinstall the front tub assembly under the hood. Our new stance measurement came to around 16 and 1 8 of an inch, and that is well within the manufacturer's specifications. Our road test with the new suspension has proven to be a much smoother ride with better handling and performance overall. Here's a before and after comparison of our test data. 
Thank you so much for watching this DMA Industries video.